Okay, on this demo, we're just going to paint a very simple landscape. You know, just a landscape with a river sweeping around here. So we're just looking at getting a nice curve there. This is just the thumbnail sketch I'm going to do here, just to sort of try and show you what I'm planning. So we're going to have a dramatic sky with lots of clouds in, but to the light so almost the white of the paper will be here against these trees uh, this will mirror in the water obviously we will paint this we're not just going to do it in uh, felt tips but uh, hopefully it just helps you to see what's going on and then i we'll have the simple foreground no detail so it's going to be nice and easy to paint and then our darkest values will be the trees up in the sky. And the reason being is we're going to get light against dark here, which will draw the eye. We'll be able to see the bank there and in here. And we'll be having a reflection down here. Reflection of the bank. So reflection of the bank here. Maybe some tall grass or something. That will just down here and maybe just one or two distant trees but uh, that's about it so we'll have a nice looming cloud over here which will direct the eye down to to here and then we'll save our darkest darks maybe in here and the tree there so it'll just help to Draw the eye where we want it to go. So a nice simple landscape like that. Maybe one or two darks up in the sky. But uh, that's the plan. Pop that there. That's our reference picture. And you know you could paint this scene 20 times. And it would be different every time. So you could just practice forever and a day. We've got um, horizon maybe just under halfway. Then there's the sweeping river. Just get it nice, just get yeah, so your hand flows nice. And then we'll have the tree there. And then we'll just make it up as we go along. So as I want um it nice and light by the tree, I'll just put some clean water here. I don't normally wet the paper before I start painting, but uh, we will on this one. So maybe I'll go a bit of yellow at the bottom here and then yellow at the top here. Just let it run down. A bit of red. So I'm using a limited palette here. That um, I quite often do this on my beginner videos on uh, my Patreon page just to try and keep things simple. Uh, anyway, I'll just pull that across there. So a lot of this is just experimental. So the water needs to reflect what's going on above. So there we go. So that's the, the water. And switch to a slightly different brush. With this Skoda Versatile brush. So a bit of blue. The brown. So we need harmony in the painting, so I shall stick to maybe warm browns, reds and browns. There's a cloud. I can go fairly strong with the paint because uh, paper is wet. So bring that down. And because this paper is very wet, these will soften and uh, continue to uh, mix on the paper. Okay, well, I need to keep this area nice and uh, clean. So let's go with a darker cloud. Darker up here. Let it continue doing its thing. Obviously, What's going on above is also going to be going on in this river here. So 
suggestion of it there. Paint maybe some distant uh, trees. Uh, but maintain this uh, area here. Let's go strong with the blue and the red. Real dark here. They were starting to dry, so I shall need to be careful. And going across there. So I think it'd be a good idea to let that dry now. I'll switch to the Escoda Perla. And then we're going to have a tree here. So a bit of dry brush there just to create those uh, marks. Okay, that off here. Maybe another tree here. That would work quite well. Now some more paint. It's slightly darker. So we don't want to be too weak with this because this is our light against dark. So trees don't have to paint every branch make a nice dark there to carry that uh, on there I'll just use clean water just to let that soften maybe just Throw a bit of water on there. Paint itself. So now we need to go nice and strong and dark with this foreground here because it needs to be darker than the river. It may have gone a little bit too dark for the river. But uh, what is done is done, as they say. There's the river going around there. Get up into there. All that river around, nice curve there. Some blue and brown, make a dark. Nice and dark here. And same along here, the river kind of disappears off around there. And while it's still wet like this, we can go nice and strong in there. Make sure the paint is mixed up on the brush. Horizontal lines, let it mix on the paper, do its thing. So what we need to do is end up with a pool of watercolour along here and here. And now I'll just take some clean water. Just going to let this paint itself. Very similar to another scene I did not long ago. Let's say this sort of stuff you can just paint again and again. And on there. And there's the tree reflecting. horizontals maybe let's go a little bit darker in the foreground there just concentrate the light here what if I do its thing let's 
some water on there. So let's maybe put a stopper over here. So maybe a tree or two. Let's just give it a spray with one of these. See what it dries like. Let's take away that reference picture. I didn't look at it a great deal, but it uh, shows what you can do with an idea and a limited palette. Uh, let's take that tape off. Now we use lots of water and you know, some quite strong pigment in the mix is there but we let the watercolour do its work and by painting scenes like this and just going for it that's the best way to learn watercolour I think. I did thousands of these sort of paintings. Most of them were disasters in the beginning but they got better and better as I got more and more confident. So give it a go. Let me know in the comments what you think. Have a look at my Patreon page where I've got lots and lots of videos on there, full tutorials, all subjects. And um, I'll see you on the next video.